Why, hello there, fellow automators. Have you ever had a situation where you wanted to monitor a web page for it to change and then get alerted so you didn't have to sit there and watch it or reload it all the time throughout the day? I did. I had that situation. And so I put together this macro and I'm going to show it off to you. So I'm going to run the macro first to show you. So I'm just, we've got a console.log showing the initial value and the current value of the H1 because that's the part of the page that it's monitoring. And once I change this value here, we should see it detect the change, pull it up in a display text window. And it says, hey, page change. This is the new value. All right, so we're gonna dismiss that. Let's go over to the macro and explain what happened. So we're gonna start from the bottom and you'll understand why in just a minute when we get there. So we're executing JavaScript in Google Chrome and we're in starting off by calling the function check status. Check status function says, hey, get the current value, log it out, see if the current value is different than the initial value and if it is, then we're gonna send the alert. If it's not, then we're gonna wait three seconds and call ourselves and check again. So if it is different, then we go to send alert. We're just doing an HTTP fetch using Keyboard Maestro's web execution functionality. We're calling the macro using the macro UUID and that's why we have this variable right here, setting the local UUID that is available in the JavaScript right here using document.kmvar, it's available on the page. So we pass it the macro UUID and we're also passing a value of web trigger and then the value of what changed. I'll explain here in a minute why it's important that I put this here, it makes it easy to pull out the value. And the other thing is your browser is going to block the response to this call but also it's gonna block the call if you don't say, hey, I don't care about the cores. I just want this call to go out. I don't care about getting the response. So that's the JavaScript that sits on the page and just waits for the change to happen. Now, when the change does happen and it calls Keyboard Maestro and this macro runs again, we have this check at the beginning that says, hey, if our trigger value starts with the string web trigger, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out the value after web trigger, set it to local change, and then show it in a display window saying page change, and then here's the value of what changed. And then we cancel the macro so we don't drop the uh, JavaScript in again. Now, if you wanted to continually monitor this page, uh, what you'd wanna do is change the JavaScript so that it continues to call the check status function even when there is a change on the page and you'd need to update the initial value. So anyway, that is how I set up a simple little macro to watch changes on a web page. Make my life simpler. Hope that was interesting and helpful. Have a great day.